Hey, what's up, guys? It's Simon Arame Films, and today we are in the University of Jos. We are going to be asking Nigerian students what they think about the 2023 election. And um, come with me, guys. Let's go. Hi, what's your name, please? I'm Emmanuel Lani. All right, good. Um, so we're asking Nigerian students okay. what their opinion is on the 2023 election. So, personally, what's your opinion? Well, my personal opinion as a political scientist, mm, that's very good. <laughs> I'm not seeing the visibility of a free and fair election yet, but I'm hoping that for Nigeria to get to where we want to be and to the better place we are hoping for, we have a free and fair election. And I believe that the best candidate in March, meanwhile, as a political scientist, I have my own party in yeah. quotes, but for the sake of um let me say equity yeah, <laughs> yeah i want to go for so the best I'll, but you have your pvc yeah sure i have my pvc so, so, so i was going best. to ask you if you are going to vote of course definitely who are you going to vote for <laughs> um i'm going to vote and if i'm going to vote i'll cast my vote for peter okay. yes. why if i may ask okay um because i'm tired of the statuscope in nigeria it seems to be like we just have two political parties existing then apart from that, they both the all the candidates coming out are very good people. But I think we should we should give the youth some trials and see some other aspects. Then in the political arena, um, let me say from the political angle, it is officially the southern eastern part of Nigeria to rule this country. Okay. So for equity and justice, because the Igbos have been they feel marginalized in the national politics of Nigeria. So for we to have the, the um, equity we have been talking about, the tribalism, um, adopting each tribe into the national politics, I think we should allow the Igbos rule and see what we can impute to the politics of Nigeria and how they will take us far. Yeah. yeah, that's a very good one. Thank you so much. Yeah, okay. Good afternoon. What's your name, please? My name is Nalegu Edwin Daniel. Right, so Nalegu? Yes. So, so we're acting Nigerian student, right? What your opinion is on the 2023 election? So personally, what's your opinion? I feel it's going to be a tight race between the three candidates. I, I'm, I'm not saying four between the three we candidates. We have more than those. Yeah, but I'm just I'm just calling the top three because it's, we have Peter Obi, we have Atiku, and we have uh, also have the Tinubu. So first of all, the votes will be shared among um, the four political zones, which is the north, south, east, and west. Yeah. And then, apart from that one, we also have to both have to fight for our rights. We will need that at the first instant because we the youth, we are the bottom feeders of the country. Because we're present now, if you can see what's happening in uh, Nigeria right now, the government don't even send the students. That's true. It doesn't send the students. They were strike. We went to strike for roughly eight to nine months. And the government was not even doing anything productive to curb the strike and make people graduate. Like now, I have so many of my friends that are like in their thirties now. I cannot go for NYS because of the strike, which is really bad. So we the youth that we need to fight for our rights and get justice for us. I don't know who is the right person for the for the for the post or for the seats but i all i would say is the best man wins but if the best man is going to win let it have the heart of nigerian youth that's it so one last question we are going to ask you is um you have your pvc right yes i have my and, um, definitely you're going to vote 100 percent. so that's good um we're asking you um who are you going to vote for if you are going to vote if i'm going to vote yeah. uh I will, I don't want to say that on camera. I don't want to say it on camera, but um, we just need people who will follow us, who will listen to us. We can be obedient about it and understand. And also, we have to be useful in this country and to Nigerian youth. Yeah. And that's it. That's a very good one. Good afternoon. What's your name, please? I'm Muhammad, my name. Right. So you're a student of University of Jos, right? Yeah, yeah. So we're asking Nigerian students what's their opinion on the next election. That's the 2023 election. So what's your opinion on it? Okay, well, to me is that uh, 2023 election is unpredictable because anything can happen. Yeah, if you look at the uh, APC, uh, aspirant, who is uh, Tunubu de Jagaban, 
hand is yeah, powerful. Yeah. Physically, you can say it's powerful more than the other aspirants like Atuku and Peter Obi. That's true. But now, Nigerian students are very tired about all this strike, particularly here at University of Jos. We are tired of all these crises, just blah, 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 of the things, you know? If students will cooperate and just decided to vote for a single candidate like Achik or Peter Obi, I don't think Jagaban will emerge as victorious then. But in the area of feeling discouraged, we do with the students in the campus to say Jagaban is more powerful than the others blah 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 because he has money you know he has connection all these things will not help us mm. but by the time we bring ourselves together and agree to support a single candidate which we have a good intention that you will bring change particularly in academics i think that will be more better for us and by doing such i think students are very powerful we are powerful by doing so that our prepared candidate must emerge as victorious that's all. all right thank you so much so personally i want to ask you one question you have a, your pvc yeah i have my PVC. So you are going to vote i will go so, that's right. so um personally who are you going to vote for no i can't tell you that no. now yes okay. because i haven't decided Decide. for who i will be voting to mm. that's it thank you so much it's what's your name please Solefe Selina. Solefe. Solefe Selina. All right. Um, we're asking Nigerian students what their opinion is on the 2020 election. So if I may ask, what's your opinion personally? Yeah, to me, it's going to be competitive and tough. Okay, why? Okay. Mm, tough because of the personalities involved, you know. Yeah, so. Like, um, can you mention some? <laughs> Tinibu. One to be very precise, then Peter Obi and um, Atiku. So, you, you know, we have more than three yeah, candidates. but those are the major, like the main yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, um, you have your voter's card? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, why? I don't have because during the registration, you know, I started my registration here in Jos, okay. but then during this recent registration, I was in Asaba, so the, the distance place, yeah. due to distance, so I couldn't get my plastic card. Okay, so, um, if you are going to vote, if you are going to vote, who would you have vote, voted for? Ah, uh, I don't know, Peter will be to some extent. Why? Because I feel he's selfless okay. and uh. The picture he's portraying, though, is um, against bribery and corruption. Okay. You get so that's why I feel I'll go for Peter Obi. Right. Thank you so much. What's your name, please? Um, Terence Uzi. All right. So we are asking Nigerian students, right, what their opinion is on the next election, that's the 2020 election. So what's your opinion personally? Shall anybody with him, with him, me, I won't come out. It won't be that. You won't come out for the country. Come so, uh, but it's your right to vote, sir. I go vote. Nobody like say I no go vote. I go vote, but uh, sure, Peter will be. I go vote for Peter will be. But I won't come out. No, you vote for Peter will be. Okay. I was about to ask who you are going to vote for. So, um, how do you think the election will be next year? What's your opinion about it? Tor, Omo, Sha. It would be. Now, she, she and me are did just now. We go see him as he be. Alright then. So, uh, you mentioned Peter Obi and you want to vote for him. We have a PVC. Yeah. That's a very good one. So, why do you want to vote for him? And why do you think he's credible for I mean, okay, aside the fact that... Yeah. I'm from Anambra. Yeah. He's yeah, an from ex, state. Yeah, he's an ex-governor of mine. And I saw his works. And yeah, sure, why not? I just give me a chance. That's a very good one. Thanks so much. And that's all you have to say. That is all I have to say. All right. Hi, my name is Mohamed Idris. All right, then. Um, we're asking Nigerian students what their thoughts on all the opi their opinion on the 2020 election. What's your thoughts? Um, I think the election will be tough because the way things are going now like this, we have um, many candidates now, uh, people from the north, the south, um, and the west, yeah. Yeah, west. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the election will be tough. Okay, so, and that question is, you have a PVC? Yeah, I have a PVC. So you are going to vote? 
Yeah. See if I may ask who are you going to vote for? For president. Yeah, for president. Yeah, Tinubu. Tinubu, okay. Why? <laughs> <laughs> um he's the best candidate. I think he's the best candidate. Okay. Yeah. Right, Thank you. What's your Good name? My name is Bilal Ali. Okay, so we're asking Nigerian students um what their opinion is on the next election of 2023. So personally, what's your opinion on it? Okay, a Nigerian student should be very, very careful in picking a candidate. Most especially at this time that uh, this strike, everybody has opened his eyes now. They should go and pick and go for a better candidate that has a better manifesto that will care about this, most especially this ASU strike that will bring about, that will bring an end to this ASU strike. Yeah. I guess this is better. Okay. Yes. So um, you have a vote after, right? Yeah. So you are, you are surely going to vote? Yeah, I'm a partisan man. Okay. I have a political party. I'm a cat carry member in my party. Okay. Yeah. Um, wow. This is difficult to ask, though, but I hope you might tell us if you are going to vote, who you are going to vote for. Like yeah. In the presidential um, election now. Yeah, I'm a Nigerian. I'm definitely going to vote. And I'm voting for PDP. In okay. fact, Atiku, to be precise. All right, then. Yeah. So thank you so much for your time. Please. My name is Yaqub Sani Muhammad. Right. So you're a student of University of Joss? Yes. All right. So. We're asking Nigerian students what their thought is on the next election, that's the 2023 election coming up. Yes. So what's your opinion on it? Uh, my opinion on it is that, you know, I can say that all the politicians are the same. If you look at the people in APC, PDP, all they are the same. Because before they were, when you look at the how they are, one person, any kind of let's say any kind of problem you have in this party, party you will just jump to another party and they will collect you celebrate your welcoming into their party so that's why i said all they are the same on my own i thought that i can't even do the election but i changed my mind that we students we have the right to stand up and change the nation yeah, as well. Mm. That's why I said, but I changed my mind. Now I will do the election. But so you will vote? Yes, I will vote. All right. That's yes. very, that's because it's my be. right, yeah, it's right to vote and to be voted for yeah. as a citizen of Nigeria. Yeah. By God's grace, we are hope, we are praying God will give us better government, yeah. inshallah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Um, we also want to ask you if you are going to vote. Yes. Okay, so you have your PVC? Yes, I have it. That's very good. So, um, if I may ask, who are you going to vote for? Hi. For now, mm. I can't say this is the person that I'm going to vote for. But when it comes, you know, <laughs> I can't say this. You can't, is the, okay, you can't say now. Yes, so I can't. You will know during the election. Yes, I will know. During so, thank you so much for your opinion. My name is Meliga Figo. All right. Honestly speaking, I don't have any opinion on this forthcoming election. So yeah, I just know, I just have a feeling Tinibu is going to win in as much as I don't want him to win. Why? Because I want Peter Obi to win. So you have your voter's card? Yes, I do. So um, you've already said it. Um, personally, who are you going to vote for? Of course, Peter Obi. <laughs> Why, if I may ask? I just, <laughs> because I feel like he is. More he's more credible and then he's going to deliver better than Tinibu. He's we don't young. have Tinibu, we have other parties. We have PDP. I mean, I don't even count the other ones. Wow, wow. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. you're going to vote for Kaobi? Yeah. Alright, so thank you so much for your opinion. As it is now, I tell you, my opinion is that we should actually go for a candidate, no party. Now, saying that, we need to, need, we need to go back seeing how they have now here I stop. <laughs> I really want you to be free and fair. I see that people have been more enlightened. They, everybody now is going for the PVCs. Now like the organization has given them the value of PVC now. So I see that there will be more participation this year Election. than ever in Nigeria. So I hope that if it's going to be free and fair, then we we'll actually achieve. Yeah, yeah. Watch so, okay. yeah, so do you have your PVC? Yeah, I have mine. That's a very good yeah. one. So, um, personal, who are you going to vote for? Oh, good. So, who are you going to vote for if you are going to vote? I'll vote for the best. Who's the best to you? <laughs> I know it's, it's opinion, so it's, it's left to yeah. you to just decide. Who. Oh, you don't know yet? No, I know. But is this supposed to be actually this one? 
Yeah, it's, it's close. That's what our audience wants to hear. Mm, I'll go for Obi. Obi? Peter Obi. That um, what party? Labour Party. That's a very good one. So why, if I may ask? I've seen his works. He's, the man is economical. He has industrial mindset. And that's what we actually now we need to start seeing how to pay our debt and the debt yeah. for the first. Then for others, based on his vice, his vice is also yeah. someone that has good reputation. Yeah, that thing. He has someone, someone that has good reputation. So with that, and based on the formation, we want something new. Yeah, we have tested them all. I was not satisfied. We want something new like that. Thanks so much. Yeah. What's your name, please? Mercy. All right. So, Mercy, we're asking Nigerian students what their opinion is on the next um, election. That's the 2023 election yeah. coming up. So, um, personally, what's your opinion? Um, <laughs> no, call me first. I don't really know, but I feel like it's just going to be like normal election. Why? Because mm, Tinubu. You're going to vote for Tinubu? No, Peter will be actually. All right. So, uh, is uh, an old man. Basically, so I don't know what he's doing on this seat. Like he's basically sick and all. Okay. So you feel there should be a different person, and yeah. that person is. Peter Obi. Obi. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why do you like? Why do you want to? Or what? Do you, why do you want Peter Obi to win the election? Because like his strategy is going towards the economy of Nigeria, but Tinubu's strategy is not going towards the economy. So you feel if Tinubu wins, it's not going to affect Nigeria economy to, what yeah. about academically like the school strike and all yeah actually i feel like peter Obi is going to deliver more than tinubu actually all right so that's your opinion yeah. so do you do you have your voter's card no why nothing so you're not going to vote no all right then so thank you so much <laughs> no please. Habib. Habib. okay so we're asking nigerian students yeah. what their opinion is on the 2023 election so um personally what's your opinion oh. Well, I feel the 2020 election will go well, and I feel to be, be very peaceful. And I feel um, there will be no chances of picking this time around. Yeah. Alright, so um, you have your task card, right? Yeah, I do. And you're going to vote? Definitely. So, um, if I may ask, who are you going to vote for? Well, I think I think that that is personal. Yeah, I think I am a candidate, and from what I've seen so far. It's more deserving. Can you give us a hint? <laughs> <laughs> so our, our viewers want to know. So can you give us a hint? I think that's that's one of the purpose of this video, taking a survey. So okay. yeah, I think it belongs to the umbrella party. Let's leave now. Yeah. If I may ask, why are you going to vote for the person you want to vote for? Because I think he's more competent than the other aspirants. Yeah. Thank you so much. What's your name, please? I'm Elizabeth John by name. Right then. So we're asking Nigerian students, right? What their opinion is on the next election? That's the 2023 election. So what's your opinion? Uh, my opinion is that the next 2023 election, I feel that everything is be kind of difficult. The tension, everybody to choose who they want to be the leader. So there will be too much tension that day for each of us, the individual, to vote who we want. Okay. So it's left us to make the right choice who we need. Mm. On this. So what do you think about the candidates? There are different parties. There's APC, PDP, NNPC. That's NNPC, NNP, Labour Party. Labour Party and all. So um, you have your voter's card? Yes, I have my voter's card. That's very good. They are the first lady here <laughs> saying that. Okay, so um, are you going to vote? Yes, sure, I will. I'm always voting. So mm. if you're going to vote, who are you going to vote for? Peter will be for life. <laughs> Why? Yes, Peter will be the man because he has this um, idea of business, economic. He knows he know how to deliver. He know how to manage. Since he have idea of business, a business now, so he will know how to rule our country, country. through economic, financial, everything. He will deliver well. And again, through our schools now, the strike we have been nine months at home. Yeah. The strike and they just resumed recently, and I'm hearing they want to go back on strike. But when he's on the seat, I know he will deliver. He will pay attention more education and the economic of our nation. Yeah, that's a very good one. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, do how to hit the like button, or if you want to see a part two of the video, do how to comment below. So, if you enjoyed the video, share, like, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.